Hazel was known in Liga Nacional when he won that tournament on the Lancelot. He was known for the Lancelot. That is his signature pick. Oh, man. All right, well, looking at the counter index and the lineup rating, once again, Rebellion comes out on top, but the execution might be more important than the numbers right here as we get into what is potentially the last game of the season. Wow. It's not just the last game of the match, but the last game of the regular season for MPLID season 14, and we're all for it, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's get into the land of dawn for the second game between the Blue Bulls and Rex Regan Chaos. Let's see if they can do it. Let's see if RBL can force at least for the final match of season 14 to go all the way. One step away from doing that, but Hazel and RQ, they're one step away from just taking that chance from RBL and getting the dub to cement their spot, I would say, in the regular season of season 14. And Rins is already doing that against Ray Lotus. Maybe a solo kill. Oh my goodness, that was almost a solo kill from the little girl in the mid lane. Luckily, he had Flicker to get out, otherwise that would have been so bad in the early stage, especially now that they want to kind of put in their roots to go for a, a possible snowball with the Nolan. Ether he was forced to use a red tree there by Dyron just moving up menacingly as Hazel picks up the cold buff as going into the jungle. Might be an altercation here as X-Men spots him out. This this might be a free kill here up top, man. Matt, he has a purify. When he uses it, he uses a purify, but Skyler just gets the kill with his second skill. There was an invade earlier too. RQ leading on the board with first blood. The show Angela, man, has so much pressure and mobility. Because you have to remember, the Angela gives you movement speed as well. And that is an agility wilderness blessing troll. e Dog is going to be all across the map. Diamond, got to be a tanky boy, as always. And so far, everything's kind of standard. But the Claude from MATT is actually running the Marksman Emblem with the Tenacity. So he's going to have an earlier power spike. But he needs to be careful. We saw how much damage Armager has at their disposal in this early game just earlier. He's really down one death with one death. Like you mentioned, right? Even the clear speed, oh, hey, dog. Because he's not even level 4 yet, and look at how aggressive he's playing. And so lucky for a Rebellion, though, that he doesn't have level 4 just yet. We'll see the Retribution battle now. X-Ray doesn't have the ult just yet. Hazel with Retribution. No, not just yet. Not some Execution at the Retribution. Aether So no chance against Hazel this time with the Lance. Oh. Tyron gets the kill on x win and Swaylo is trapped in that Dominator's Ascent. Or you can wait him out! One of these days you're gonna escape, and Hazel goes for it. Good taunt by Cars to peel, but now he might just be the one taken out. Wait, the dragon from Edo. And that is a kill for. Oh, not Hazel. Diamond wants all the kills. Oh, you can see the change in priority as well in that previous skirmish, right? Uh, uh, initially, they were actually looking in for Cars, but they saw Swaylo, and they went in for Swaylo instead. They know that the Galakacha's HP bars are always so deceptive. He looks slow, but he can regen up. He has the revitalize as well. Unfortunately for Rebellion, they're unable to use that. And look at this troll pressure, dude. This Akai is getting bullied. He's still vlogging at minute number three. No ult. That's bullied the, the panda. He's beating up a panda, dude. That shouldn't be legal. But looking they're at the... They're endangered for a reason. You shouldn't beat on them, man. You beat them. Exactly. Nourish them. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't... Oh, wait, the dragon. He kicked the panda. Dominator's just set. There you go. That's what you get for kicking the panda. You get gunned down by Matt. He doesn't like these animals. Endangered ones especially. Get them beaten up. MAT2 kind of trying to set an example, you know, protecting the uh, the cute little animals in Lara Dawn. 95% for our Q. Look at this, x -Rin. Oh no, uh, th this might be the Panda's fall actually. Jumping back in, Rin's flickering out, and now it's going to be Hazel in the back line, just getting the assassination. 2 for 0 trade now for RRQ. Very good start. 1.3k gold lead. They have been taking control of everything, right? They were able to pick up the neutral objective and all the kills. Look again, oh man, the zoning uh -oh. from Dyron as well as he chose, as well as Edo. Is it zoning? Dyron, it technically is zoning, but his path, he just gets out too. But even the revitalized man, he just stands there menacingly and it allows Kyler to cash in on a lot of gold. Oh, look at this though. Uh oh, Dyron revitalized. They're all just gonna use their resources for ultimates down for the side of RBL. X Wind still on Turan, I believe. RQ. Will they look to go for this? That's a way to drag it on towards cars. Not the best choice to go for, but Hazel just jumping back and forth. The puncture now beating out the heavy spin. Already used up. Can be pinned down as well. Aether should be able to find it. Unless no! The retreat god! Hazel! On a signature pick! Takes it away. He was pinned down. How did he get out of the heavy spin? I think the duration just expired, no? It took so long that he was pinned down for a long, long time. But. In that period of time, Ethan was unable to actually secure the neutral objective. 
And now look at this. Armor Q essentially they're gonna have to go back to base. That by Hell Dispenser. Conceal. Uh oh. That's a chill. It went on to cars. No revivalize this time around. That is a freebie for the crossbow attack. Oh! Tom the Guardian! Using the invulnerable state of the Avatar of the Guardian to escape, but again this panda is just getting beaten down. Well, that's all happening by the way. Look at the bottom. Oh Matt! What? King MATT! He's gone! He is! Aether tries to go for Rins, but oh no, he's gonna get tied up, kicked back, and now stomped on by the horse! The Skyler just shoots him! 2-0, 3.7k gold lead, 4k gold lead now, and RRQ continue to push their momentum. Edra constantly just being that driving force, and he's very aggressive. Cars with the top, Phantom Execution used up already. Hard guard hovering over Hazel, trying to go for the purple buff here, and it doesn't look like Aether will be anywhere near to contest it. Hazel with the right tree, Dino with the Glorious Pathway, clean disengage with the steel on the purple. Okay, whenever they get low after an engagement, usually a team would back away, right, reset, and then go back on the map. But for RRQ, pop up Glorious Pathway, stand next to Rins for a couple of seconds, and you're good to go. And they keep going, and this pressure is what's kind of denying Rebellion any kind of room to reset, to set up and trap RRQ as they're moving into the jungle. They're not even leaving. They've just set up a whole base camp in the opposing side's jungle. Now with the turtle spawning up soon, once again, Enoch looking for ways to threaten X-Win. As long as the panda gets brutalized before the neutral objective take, our Q will have to worry about that heavy spin. And now, because of the side lanes that are being pushed in, they can be as aggressive as they can into the enemy jungle. Oh, concealed play, Enoch! Uh-oh, way the dragon onto Karnas to give Sky... Oh, they weren't using any spin. I think Enoch will be happy with that. In spite of getting taken down, there's no heavy spin left, and our Q will sh should be able to utilize this to get the turtle. What do RBL do? Trying to match the pressure, but look at Skylar with the hard guard. That's all the witness points. As easy as that. Now the way to Dragon, or no, rather, the Crawford attack is up. The Guardian gets placed down, and Hazel is going all in. Skylar gets the healing. That's a double for Hazel. Aether right there. Hazel with the outplay on Swaylo, and now Rins. Flicker forward from Rins. Skylar's oh. a oh, nightmare. It's one little Johnny. Oh no. Skylar gets taken down. 5 1 2 now. Was that shutdown given over? Yep. Given over to Sway Low. I mean, it's a great member to receive the bounty. The overall, still RRQ having a dominant performance here. So, take a look at the lead game. I know, Fincher Tool and Smart Mode, the Sample Galaxy S24 series. All the different cars being jumped on, fun to revitalize. Why some more time with the average of the Guardian? But Skylar, with the built in Pure Pie, with the Inspire, is unrelentless. Getting in, in, uh, in and out again and again, but then getting falling to the passive. Of, of Zask. When he gets taken down, he leaves on that next spawn, and that saps Skylar down. So a bit of a miscalculation, but everything is still on track for RRQ. So let's talk winning conditions for Rebellion. What are those? They have to try and catch Hazel, I feel like. As long as Hazel is left alone to his own devices, it's gonna be dangerous. And they have to maybe weather out this mid-game where Skylar on the on the one one, in theory, is gonna be a massive problem. Already on a three out of power spike with a golden staff. They even have a sword and a cloak inside. Yeah, I think they have to win that. If they can really try and do something, they can try and bait uh, the heavy spin. Not heavy spin, sorry, the, the uh, hard card as well. Because with the fleeting time and the uh, plus of the Oasis, I think whoever wins tries to protect is going to stay alive for a long, long time. He's uh, oh, oh, going to go for the assassination, and he does. Now the hard guard, heavy spin, everything used on him. It'll be a shutdown. So at least RBL get that, but they lose King MATT. I don't know if it's personal from Hazel, or it's just like a default, it's a tactical play. Oh, I'm an assassin, I go for the marksman. Oi! Oh, you know, trying to go for the no flicker, now it's punished for it, Aether gets the kill again. But look at the weakness points, all oh, there for the crossbow attack, Cars gets out. X-Win, walking up, oh, Johnny boys doing some damage. Oh, but that's a trade-in again, right? Another kill given over to the side of Rebellion, so that initial gold lead that RQ had, 4k? Whoa, it's 2k whoa, whoa. now, oh, what? Aether! Aether! Assassination! Still an assassin, dude. Kind of estimate the damage potential. But He's an Avenger. Whoa. Gonna burst down at least. Dark Rogers. Now, without Skylar, oh, I keep on the train fighting still. Dyron. Trying his own Aether away. This man you can't assassinate, it seems. And he will have to respect it. Good reset. Just from Dyron. Conceal play. X-Win. He's looking for Dyron. He's alone. Oh. X-Win. Spin, he decides to utilize it, but I think they'll be happy with that. Oh, here is all. Oh no, the little Johnny boy is gonna give him a three puncture stack. Oh no! Oh no! It's another Johnny coming down there, cars. Puncture on him, Thorn Rose there. X-Win gets assassinated from the cross the wall. Oh, 
It's going to be Hayden jumping with Phantom Execution, the puncture away as well. Let's see if he can outplay from this one. Max very long. Hazel gets out, no kills. They don't even have to go for the Lord just yet. They can pick up the turret in the mid lane. Look for the purple buff. By the way, take it away from Aether. And then everything all just collapses and coalesces with their main idea, their main goal, which is to pick up this Lord. Everything is going really great for RRQ in the second game. And you are seeing that Lancelot prowess on his own. It's Skylar, 1v3 unfazed, diving under the turret still, actually. And they can't do anything about it. They know that to get Skylar, they have to get multiple taunts, multiple card control tools on him. And they have to be able to burst down through the hard guard as well. Lord coming through, you can see that the whole jungle is just under control of RRQ. Oh. Even if Edo goes nice. dangerously forward, to catch him, they're gonna have to expend, like, most likely a heavy spin. And like you mentioned, Virko, Edo is gonna love that trade. Exactly, that's why they they oh, needed no. that heavy spin to be able to contest for that board, and yet they utilize it early on because Essen was getting caught really low. They needed a way to control this Edoc man again. He's zoning mm -hmm. so, so well. This Kung Fu man is just walking up and everybody has to respect it. Diamond just running at you like that is definitely a terrifying, uh, terrifying scene. Now with the Lord though, wow, how much can RQ get against all this damage coming in from our Rebellion? There's Pathway, Skyler, given the space necessary to look for those shots, but it's actually not enough space. Nightmare Spawn, oh, oh, Hazel, just using the puncture. Alright, this turn almost gets taken down on the bottom side, unfortunately for RRQ, not just yet, Rebellion were able to defend it really, really well. Matt actually went for the third item, Wood of Nature, by the way. So he knows that with the Marksman Emblem, like you were telling us uh, just yesterday, Mirko, I think. Uh, he can have, have an early power spike, but he don't. Whoa! <laughs> Fancy. Fancy. Turret goes down though in the bottom lane. Yep. Oh man, RRQ, just with pure pressure, they're able to threaten objectives like this. Again, yeah, Matt has hit the two item power spike, running the, you know, the sword and the golden staff straight to the Wind of Nature. Knowing that with the Marksman Emblem, he should be okay. He's safe for Hazel, at least for only a while though. I think RRQ can find ways to bait it out. And maybe later on, Matt have to, has to decide between taking the damage from the Lancelot or the crossbow of Tank. That's actually quite funny. Game fact by Gopay, Cars became the XP laner with the most turtle secures, having four turtles and the second most lord what? secures with two lords. Two lords? Wait, that's a... As an EXP laner, as right? As yes. Yeah. Okay. I thought in general, I'd be like, no, Whoa, what are the junglers doing this season? <laughs> if that's, uh, you know, if he actually has more turtles and lords than all the other junglers, then we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Either he's amazing or the junglers in Indonesia need some help. Looking at some of the items here, Edok with the Radiant Armor to deal with the constant zaps coming in from the Nightmare Spawn. And with the dominating, uh, with the Dominant's Ice to then lower the regeneration, he knows he's going to be in the, th in the thick of the fighting for, uh, especially against cards here, so it's a great item choice. Now with the Lord up, once again, it's a setup, it's a 7k gold lead, and RRK has a lot of mobility. Rebellion, if they leave the base, they're playing a dangerous game. Okay. Diamond with a stun on X-Win. Panda Man versus the Horse. Hazel already actually used up the Phantom Execution earlier. Trying to go for the burst, the Blitz on the Lord, but was unable to do so. Not just yet. So the Lord dance happening. Aether will bring up the damage on oh, Dyron. Lord's pathway. Exo on his own as well. The heavy spin coming out of him down. Aether will be able to claim it, but now it's very, very low. Dyron just gets him with the DOT. No, Matt! Queen of Nature! It'll only just delay the inevitable. Lord, that was a big Johnny. Angry. Sway low. No, he can't survive for too long. Skyler catches up. The Phantom Execution gets rid of half of this man's HP. And up top, Edoc is dealing with the Panda. It's a 1 4 0 top, but it's all our cue with a 4 for 1 and They'll be able to clear the Lord, still having the ways in the middle lane and in the bottom lane. Our cue, Hoshi, will end the game, will end the season with a statement victory. They got the Lord, but at what cost? Wow, what a performance by RRQ. The young prince stepping into the shoes of Sutsu Jin, one of the best junglers in MPL ID right now, and he performed very well 2 0 against Rebellion on the Hayabusa, on the Lancelot 2 to really show Aether how it's really done. It's been a while since we've seen a crazy Lancelot performance, and man, Hazel absolutely delivered there. It seems like he always had a puncture stack somewhere. Okay, showing again, it's not only about the mechanics, the planning as well from this guy. This allows him to just find those crazy maneuvers when we really thought that they were done. 
GG will play then for RQ. By the way, Arashi. With Kesq and NMM, Pikachon went 13 and 3 last season. Oh in man. In the regular season, number one in the regular season. This season, RQ with Kesq and NMM went 13 and 3. It's the what? same record. The Deja Vu coming out for Coach Kesq and NMM. Kind of crazy. If I had a dollar for every time those numbers come up, I have two dollars, which is not much, but it's weird that they have it twice. <laughs> that is true. He was making a joke.